Hey guys, it's JRT and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West, in which we are gonna fight Nessie here <laughs> in this episode. Uh, not looking forward to it. I think it's totally unnecessary to fight it, but I, I guess the game wants us to fight it, so let's do this. Is it doing any damage? Jesus Christ, man, his reach. This is where Poseidon is. You can't come up here. Are you flipping kidding me? Maybe he doesn't see us underwater? Get out, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, quick. Oh man, once he gets you then that's it. <coughs> it's fine, swim, 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 it's fine. I don't think he sees us underwater guys. What the? That's impossible to avoid, guys. <coughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? If he went underwater. There he is. Oh my god! We're actually not doing so bad. Now that I said it, I will jinx it, but... Exactly. That should do it. Down it goes. Yay! Hey, Loy. <laughs> Not you bad. Did it. First try, we killed him. Not bad at all, man. First try. Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. Oh, that. Ah, that made me nervous, man. That made me flippin' nervous. Let's see if he dropped anything that we could use. Nice. Uh, no room on me. I can send it to my stash. Oh, man. I hope that was the first and last oh, one that we'll fight. Never heard of it. 
This was... I feel as if it was tougher than the Mammoth. Okay, I think we've got everything here. Whatever we planned on charging for this show of ours. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reverend. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Okay, now, off to Poseidon. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond Oh, the now we can take these? Bring it home. Okay, it should be clear now, right? Okay. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There's a console over there. There. I should be able to use that console. This place. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. But maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance. If water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. Let's do it then. I'm here to bring Let's you home. Let's hear the Gaia kernel. To Gaia. Yes. Mother. All water is to be back to her. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Okay. Got him. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there were two Nessies while we were swimming. So. We only found one yet. It's like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Hopefully, on our way out, we don't encounter the second one. Morland and crew must have headed back up top. With all the embers they could carry, I bet. I'll take it.
And this one. Save these for when I need it. Okay, so now... Who's left? I lost count, man. Who's left to find, as in the modules? I think there's two left. Hang on, can we? I'd like to get this. <laughs> Almost fell. Fuck. Ah, I thought it was a green whatever. Okay. Okay, where's this elevator? Dead end. The game is saying that there is an elevator. go <laughs> hmm it's much more complicated than I thought guys let's go this way again Come out from here. Actually, it's not complicated. I just... Right here, more than 30 years ago, back when this casino was still called the Temple, one big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out no one way. final time, must have and the waters of my adopted home will at last work. run dry. Nice not well, to have to climb back up. If a dream has to die. At least I can say goodbye first. Another recording from Stanley Chen. Okay, so we have made it, guys. Um, of course, no upgrades for this, right? No. Okay, let's just fill up our stash. Whatever she did, it must have powered up the whole city. Is that? How much did all this cost? What? Who's talking about money? What's going on out there? 
he did the uh, show light. The light show, show not show light, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized, his old Gramps legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, no problem, did you find mate. what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, <laughs> no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. See you later, folks. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I find a place with more water. Get this from my stash when I need yeah, it. Yeah, the game. The game wants us to explore. Um, I don't know. I mean, we explored the rooms before. Like, it took me ages to find this place. Um, so, yeah, I might just fast travel back to, to Gaia. I mean, this game has no loading game at all, guys. Let's save. I see you, champion. Sit, please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. <laughs> uh, I'll do it later. I have important business to attend to, guys. So, yeah. Thank you. Covered Poseidon. Yes. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Got it. Error. Drone 
offline. Error. Data missing. How do Error. Drone feed disconnected. I can't put it in the middle one. If that's what you're saying. Data watching missing. this video. Okay, so down we go. Let's see what Beta has to say, and we will end the episode here. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup, like the car. Hmm. <laughs> Aaron is in a is in his. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the Daddy data on your focus. Mom, She's been watching it a lot. Party, right? I think it helps <laughs> calm her. That's the first vision we saw in Horizon You know, I used to watch Zero this Dawn. a lot too. When she was young, when she things. first found... Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth. The Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever... Talk about her life on Earth, how she joined the Zeniths, something like that. She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So.
So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zenas never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. Interesting. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. But Tilda isn't it? Isn't she the one that she got killed on the mountain by the resistance? What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay, I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Okay, guys, this is the end of this episode. We've defeated Nessie. We got back Poseidon to Gaia. We discovered a bit more about Beta. And uh, that's what I call a fruitful episode. Until the next one, take care. This is Jerdy. Bye-bye.